Okay, I'm gonna have a go at making some trail food. So what I wanna do with this, I'm gonna cook a load of this, so it's 600 grams of steak uh, mince, one massive, great, big, huge, humongous onion, about seven or eight mushrooms, five cloves of garlic, and I haven't even started yet. So um, I'm gonna get the mince and everything cooking in the pan first. And then what I want to do is, do is dehydrate it and see how it works. So uh, I'll get some more ingredients. Okay, oil in the pan. You don't want to see me cutting everything up because you've seen it before. So, onions in. And we'll get them until they go clear. Garlic in. Mushrooms on the floor for them, are they? Okay, garlic. Right, so we'll get these now to um, clear and soften up, and then we'll add the mince as well in a sec. Okay, so now it goes in. 600 grams the steak mince. Okay, and we'll brown that off. Quite looking forward to this, I've never dehydrated food before, so let's see what it comes out like. If anybody has, you can always leave some tips in the description down below, that would be great. Or anything else, I mean, if you think there's a different way of doing it, I don't know. A bit of heat up. I'll make it. Yeah, so if you know anybody knows where well, you've done this and you've got some good tips, I'd be pleased to hear them. We do quite a bit of walking in the winter and uh, might take our own meals with us because we know what goes in it. Right, I'll just brown off then. Okay, browned up beautifully. Now, now I'm going to put in, I was going to put the mushrooms, but I'm not going to put these in first. I'm putting two tins of tomatoes. Like I said, I'm making it for tea tonight, but also to dehydrate. So, two tins of tomatoes. I'm going Beautiful colour. I love cooking. Right, and then I'm going to put in now a tin of kidney beans. Kidney beans. It's a tin full. So that's now simmering slightly. I'm going to now add. Herbs of Provence. I don't know if you've heard of it, but this is a mixed herbs and it is, well, absolutely B E A U T I F O L. What a flavour this brings out. So, quite a bit of that because we're making quite a lot. So, I'll stir that in. And it is a beautiful herb. This is Herbs of Provence. Okay, let that simmer for a little bit. Pepper. I like pepper. Works quite a bit. Nice big dollop of English mustard. Actually two. Stir in pepper and herbs. 
give it a taste in a bit. Just let the herbs soften and marinate into the luscious meat. Stick it up quite nicely as well. Okay, simmer away a bit more. Followed by mixed vegetables. I'm making this up as I go along, by the way. This isn't a recipe that I've found. I actually don't use many recipe books like Cousin. I can't read. No, I can read, I'm only joking. But look at the colour. Look at the colour. Beautiful. Okay. You got a remit, it looks pretty good. Okay. Followed by mushrooms. Now the next ingredient, some of you are not going to like, I suppose, but I remember this when I was a kid. Mum used to make a curry, and uh, we used to have a curry and rice. It was one of my favourites that she ever made, and uh, I couldn't wait to bite into sultanas. Probably gone it right off it now, but honestly, it is beautiful. Sultanas. I mean, you can make a slight curry with this. You could put curry powder. You do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. There is no set rules with um, cooking. I believe that's what I was told by a chef. There is no set rules. Try it. See how you get on. Okay, we'll let that simmer for a bit. Okay, thumbs up if you think it looks appetising. You don't have to give me thumbs down if you don't want to. I'd appreciate that if you didn't. So, yeah, we're going to cook this now. We're going to try it. So we'll eat some. And then I've got some greaseproof paper and a dehydrator. And I'm going to have a go at dehydrator. I think it takes about eight hours. So I might have to put it somewhere safe because we've got cats. And they're evil. Well, they can be evil. So I'm going to stir all this in and we'll let it simmer and then I will give it a taste test. I um, hope I haven't put any of you off, if I have, sorry, but I can do I like to experiment and play. That's the old fun of it. So I'll get back to you in a bit with a taste test and then uh, we'll do some dehydration. Okie dokie, taste test. I want a raisin. Oh, got one, got one. Was that unfair? Well, we've got two raisins. Well, I'll be honest with you, if it tastes rubbish, I'll tell you. It's a cat in our eyes. <clears throat> okay. All right. It tastes really nice, it needs a bit more seasoning, and it needs salt. I forgot salt, by the way. Mm. Those raisins are beautiful. Okay, so I added some salt, and this is what I'm going to add next. I'm not going to show you what it is because it's like cheating, but this is. It's not cheating, no. What did I say that for? It's not cheating. I can't show you the label. I'm not too much, probably about a teaspoon altogether, and it's um, hot pepper sauce. It does give it a bit of a kick, it's lovely. Especially if you're out on the trail, or you could, well, the Americans call it the trail, or we call it a hike, or a walk, or whatever you want to call it, and it's cold. It's a nice bit of kick. Okay, so I'll give it another taste in a bit. Just let it simmer again, and then we'll eat ours, and then I will start doing the dehydrating bit. I hope you're not bored. Okay, give it a taste again. And I will be honest. Right. This 
feet on. Oh, you see me putting my goblets here anyway. Right, here we go. Oh, I'll tell you now, that would be absolutely superb on a really cold day. And you can feel the heatness now of the uh, peppercorn, the, not the pepper, well, the hot pepper sauce. Oh, yeah. Not joking. Superb. Right, I'll let that um, simmer for a little bit longer, dish it for, for us, and then uh, we'll do the next process. Beautiful. Look at that. And I think really it's pretty free of any preservatives. Well, I don't know what's in the tins of tomatoes, so I can't say that really. But pretty healthy, I would say. Okay, one dehydrator. This is greaseproof paper. Yeah. I want it to sit on the inside. Cut it out. Okay, cut the grease with paper. I don't know how thick to lay this, that's the trouble. I'm not too sure. Oh, god damn it. Sorry, sorry about blaspheming. I think the thinner, the quicker it dries, so... Okay, so I'll do another cut, another piece of paper. I've never done this before, so I do apologise if it doesn't work out, but I will tell you what, exactly what happens. I will let you know. I won't do any more, should be enough for now. I'll have the rest for lunch tomorrow. <coughs> okay, I've got a lid for this as well. So, I'll get rid of this paper. So, this, got some, this is like grease proof paper, like I've already mentioned. And um, I'm going to leave it overnight now and uh, see what happens. So, I'll get back to you. Okay, so it's got a temperature down here of. Where's the temperature? So, she's at 70 centigrade. Okay, timer is 10 hours by the look of it. Oh, 10 hours, 11 hours. No, that's wrong. Let's go back. I presume it's... I'll check it in a bit anyway. So 10 hours, I'll go for... Let me just check what time is now. Right, so it's... 
six in the morning, so that's ten hours for me because I'll be up at six, so it's quarter to eight now. So ten hours, ten thirty. That should still be going in the morning when I get up. So I might drop the temperature down a bit then. Um, oh, minus 55, we'll try that. I'll see how warm it gets in a bit and then we'll go from there. So it starts like that. I'll put the lid on and um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, lid on. I'm gonna put something heavy on this, that'll do. Because we've got cats. And they're crazy. Okay, fish the machine off. Still slightly warm. But look at that. Uh, we'll vacuum this now. And then we'll rehydrate it on a bit of a trip, which I'll do in a separate in another video. But yeah, it worked alright, look at that. Okay, so to the vacking. Brilliant. Works a treat. Okay, so that was a quick trail meal and the tea we had. Catch you in the next vid. If you'd like to subscribe or leave a comment or thumbs up down below, that would be great. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a great weekend. Okay, I just finished the video off with the dryer and I just thought well I might as well finish the proper video off and show you the backpacker these are quite cheap these are 30 pound off the big auction site uh, you make sure that the bag you buy the bags you can buy them separate this is my second lot this is a heater bar that runs along the bottom and this seals and then sucks all the air out the bag so you have to make sure it's closed properly like so and then you've got a seal only so when you buy the bags they come opened at both ends so you have to seal one end cut it to the length you want off the roll and once you've sealed it put it put your food in and then vac and seal and it should draw the bag in as you can see yeah, the seal will come on if your bag is punctured it'll come back out again the air will come out and there you have it that is that is yeah that's a couple of meals so it's been dehydrated and that's ready for rehydrating so there you go nice packing bit of kit this we used it quite a bit haven't we yeah so there you go so cheap thing off ebay you have to buy the bags separate but they do come with it they do come with a load and uh see you in the next vid Take care. Thanks for watching.